Get out the also. Oh, pop on, I've actually let it cap today. I see. I've got this empty paint marker. I just put the hose on the end of it, ripped it off the, the nib out. There's a part that writes on the paper. So I've ripped that out, put a pressure hose on there from that compressor, and this is actually still holding the pressure hose there. Basically what it, how it works is like the nib presses on a valve inside the body of the texture and that lets um, paint out and you can use it to mark on the black and steel surfaces so the valve in this is actually acting as an air valve or a one way valve it's holding pressure inside this vessel yeah. normally that would dent pretty easily me pressing on it like that but the air is, the pressure in there is actually preventing that from being um, crushed I'm going to try and um, see if I can pump enough vacuum in this to crush this damn thing. So let's pop this electrolytic first. There we action zero, let's it plug it in and we'll see what happens. Okay, turn the power up. Got the MK going on here, see how much kilowatt hours I'm using. Shot off like a rocket. On zero. That spun pretty fast for a bit there, so unplug. Safety first, very important. And just for good measure, this one too. Yeah, that's got extremely hot. That was a Sam Young 35 volt 1000 microfarad. Let's see what else I pop. 100 kilo ohm half watt resistor. Another very exciting. Unplug, safety first. Oh, let's see what failed. Only slightly discolored it. Can't find where the hole is, yeah, it's on the bottom there, it is a little tiny crack. Camera won't pick it up. Let's try something else. Polyester condenser or capacitor from a fluorescent light starter. See what this does. Oh, pop like a fuse. Unplug. Safety first. It didn't last long. Mm, just cooked it. Let's see what else I can pop. Piezo speaker. Hmm, not making a meter go any faster. There you go, tough little speaker. Ten hours on a little. Here's a speaker, that's amazing. Tough little thing. Huh. I guess it doesn't need much amps to run that little speaker because the meter's not going any faster. Okay, so the Piezo electric devices use very, 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 very little current. It requires very little current. That's just there we go, spark. Taking a while to pop. Flashed over. There we go. Zero, unplug. Do a safety check here. Well, it got hot, but not enough to knock the floor, so. You can see just here between the solder points is where it flashed over. Too much voltage. Let's put it on for longer. Alright.
Let's try something else. Safety first, unplug. Let's flush this thing once and for all. Let's see if it's still got air in it. It might have ink in it, so let's be careful. Hmm, held its pressure. It's been sitting on it for about a week or so. Bit of ink left in that. Shouldn't matter. Anyway, it's, all it is is just a nib, which is just a little felt tip. Lots on the paper, you press that down. That presses on this. Dispenses the ink, but this is obviously empty, so there's a lump of metal in there, so you can agitate the um, ink inside the marker. But yeah, it looks quite low holding pressure wise there. Let's put this back together and see how much vacuum I can put into it. Okay, we also are taking the safety valve completely out. That's just going to act as a one way valve and block vacuum, so let's give it a try now. Tanks fully um, pumped the vacuum, so let's see what happens. Need more. Okay, we always lift that for a bit and just squeeze it softly. Yeah, that's about all I'm going to get. See what else I can vacuum down. Mania hair dye bottle. Easy squeeze applicator bottle. Didn't ever need hands. Try something else. Lucky last for today. Empty Australian export spray paint can. Get it like that. Smash it on a hard surface and knock the valve right in there. Works brilliantly. Alright. I've flushed it out with compressed air, pressurise it and let it flush out to get all the residual um, paint and aerosol out. To hold this one by hand, so let's see how this works. Hopefully, this tank's accumulated enough vacuum. Three, two, one. Whoa! Word of warning. Yeah, that's very risky. That could have cut into my hand like that, anything, so be very careful in doing stuff like this. That was very um, sudden. Yeah, I didn't think that was strong enough. There you go, see? Hand could have been in it, could have cut my hand in no time. So, be careful when doing these sorts of experiments, so. Thanks for watching.